Okay guys, welcome back to another episode of Get Real Vlogs. Today I am excited about this. We are on the search for what place has the best sub. So join me today and let's go find which place has the best sub. Alright guys, we're here at Jimmy John's, the first stop of the night. Alright, it was kind of hard to find this and I didn't even know we had this in Harrisonburg, but the second stop of the night is Jersey Mike Subs. And I wasn't sure about trying this place again, but the last stop of the night is Firehouse Subs. We're back again with another food review. Today we are doing subs. One question that someone posted me in college, and this is just random, are they called sub sandwiches or are they just called subs? I think sandwiches are different than subs. I think subs are bigger and they look like this. I think sandwiches sandwiches are on bread. Leave that in the comments. Tell me what you think. So anyways, guys, today we have three different subs from three different locations. I love subs. I love to eat meat. I'm a meatitarian. I could not be a vegan or a vegetarian. I just couldn't do it. Uh, so first off, I have some notes about all three of these places that I'm going to share with you guys. A little bit of history. So for lunch, I had Subway. I did not do Subway in this because I have Subway so much. I've had almost every sub from Subway, so I already know what it tastes like, and I did not want to spend more than $25 on this video, and I already surpassed that with just these three sandwiches. So Subway, I already ate. We already know what that tastes like. But I'm going to give you a little bit of uh, a few facts about Subway just to add it in here with these. So, Subway was started in 1965 by a 17-year-old named Fred DeLucha in Connecticut. It was first called Peter's, Sub Peter's Super Submarines. It has four, uh, over 41,500 locations in the U.S., which is the most out of any fast food restaurant chain in the U.S. It has more than McDonald's, which is crazy. It may not be as successful as McDonald's, but it has more locations. Uh... It brings in about $10.4 billion a year in annual revenue. And I just want to say, Subway, please bring bring back the $5 foot long because I really enjoyed that. And it was cheap and it was tasty. So, guys, first off, we are going to talk about Firehouse Subs. Now, this will be my fourth time in my life that I've been there. And I've never really liked it any time that I've went. I went once a long time ago with my parents the first time, it was just not a good experience. I don't know what it was. It just didn't taste good. Then I went again on my senior trip uh, with my class because that's where some people wanted to eat. We kind of just wanted to get out and eat wherever we could. And I had another bad experience. I think they got all our orders wrong. and It took like 30 minutes for all of us to get our food when it's supposed to take less than 10, maybe less than 5. And it just didn't taste good. Then I went for a third time when COVID first hit, just because I wanted to go around trying different places. Third time wasn't horrible. Today, hopefully it's not either. So, we're going to move over here to Jersey Mike's. I am super excited about this. I've never had Jersey Mike's in my life. It looks really good. I did not even know we had Jersey Mike's here in Harrisonburg. I remember someone in college talk to me about how they were thinking about working at Jersey Mike's and I had no idea what it was. I thought it was like a Buffalo Wild Wings, like they hang jerseys everywhere and you eat. But no, it's a sub shop. So a little bit about Jersey Mike's. It started in uh, New Jersey. Duh. A guy at the age of 14. Guys, look how young these people are setting up franchises. All you guys got to do is create a cool sub. Start now. Become rich fast and let me join you. It started in 1956, and it brings in about $1.39 billion a year. I don't know about that, but that's what it said online, and obviously Wikipedia never lies to us. Thirdly, Jimmy John's. I do like Jimmy John's. I didn't eat it until college, but uh, I didn't have a car for most of my college years, uh, and I liked to get food delivered. I didn't like to eat in our cafeteria at all times. Uh, I would order pizza, I'd order subs, and Jimmy John's was close to our school, and I'd order it all the time. I've tried many of their subs. I love it. Uh, my butt and my little bro, Micah, he worked at Jimmy John's for a good amount of time, and he would always hook me up with food. Jimmy John's is great. Let's see if one of these three 
subs can beat Jimmy John's. I don't know if any of them can beat Subway. We'll talk about that after I try all these. So let's get going. Let's start off with Firehouse because I have low expectations. So let's get some water and clear our palate a little bit. All right. So for all of these, I got turkey sub. I wanted to try something different, but I kind of wanted it to be the same so I can compare. Now, I didn't know that they were going to make this sub warm. And at Firehouse, you kind of get to create your own sub. So what I did was I got turkey, lettuce, tomato, I think like some type of peppers, uh, cheese, I think privilege cheese, olives, all that, mayonnaise. First off, the turkey tastes pretty good. It's a little bit more shredded than anything. I got it on wheat bread, but yeah, it is warm. I did not expect it to become to be warm when I got it, but nevertheless, let's take a bite of this and see how it tastes. Try one more. Okay. That tastes a lot better than what I've had in the past. I like that. The bread is good. Everything on is good. That's the cool thing about certain sub places where they let you get whatever you want on it. Some places like Jimmy John's, you can add on to it, but not very many choices as Subway and Firehouse. So that was not bad. We're going to save this. Let's move on to Jimmy John's. Good old Jimmy John's. It, I like how the bread's a little bit hard. It's French bread. They cut it in half. I like that. I got the turkey tom. It's got uh, you know a little bit of shredded lettuce. The turkey, you know, they only put like one piece on it. They could have put a little more. Got tomatoes on it, mayonnaise. I like the Jimmy peppers. They're a little spicy. They give a little kick to it. So let's take a bite of this. and We already know what it tastes like, but let's go ahead and compare. That's good. Yeah, um, this this wasn't bad, but I don't know the bread. Everything just tastes right on a Jimmy John's sandwich. So Jimmy John's is still ahead of Firehouse. Not saying that Firehouse was bad because I already gave it a bad rep, but I'm not gonna give it a bad rep right now because that was not bad whatsoever so now we're going to come on to this jersey mike sub so it looks a lot bigger than over here in the jimmy john sub it's wider it's got oh my goodness it's got a lot more meat wow it's got cheese on it less tomato mayonnaise let's see how it tastes i'm excited about this you know, maybe I shouldn't be because a lot of people say all subs taste the same, but let's find out right now. Wow. There's some spices on there. It tastes really good. Wow. I really don't know. That was really good. All right. So to break this down as an overall best, I'm going to have to factor in some things. So this right here was $5. I got the smallest one. It's got a lot of toppings on it, a lot of turkey. This right here, I saved $2 today because I had a coupon because I'm a I'm loyal to Jimmy John's. It was like $6.75. It's like eight inches long. This is about eight inches long. This was $7.75. So this would have been about $8.75. Man, let me try this one more time. It's hard to tell because this one is a little bit warmer. Well, a lot warmer because I did toast it. It's messier.
Wow. All right, well, I think, guys, this is such a close race. I, it's hard to pick a favorite, but I think that sub. I'm going to have – out of these three, I'm going to have to take Jersey Mike's. I think I like Jersey Mike's more than I like Jimmy John's now. It's my first time. I'm really impressed. It's really good. I'm going to have to try more of their subs because maybe the other ones aren't as good. Subway all, all the way around is pretty consistent. That's why I like them. I like consistency. I like it to taste good almost every time. And Subway does that. And they're fast. And they have you, all the toppings are free. My coworkers, like all my friends, make fun of me because I get every single topping on it because they're all free. So, guys, we're going to go Jersey Mike's, Jimmy John's, just because it's always been consistently good. This was not bad today. Firehouse, you've turned me around. I still think you're not too bad. We're going to have to do a video with Subway. So guys, thank you again for watching this. I will keep doing stuff like this. Once again, guys, this is Get Real Vlogs. This was the Subway. Not Subway. This was the Sub Challenge, I guess you could call it. And we will get, catch you guys next time here on Get Real Vlogs. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day.